Hey everybody, it's me, CNP, and today I am back with another ASMR video. Today I am doing a different style of video, as you can tell, we are doing a soft spoken voice. And I gotta say, I like it. And I don't like it. Let me explain. I have been a whispering ASMR channel for pretty much my entire channel's existence. Um, I've done soft spoken here and there every now and then. Um, but for me, it's always been somewhat difficult to do um, something about the vocal cords, my specific vocal cords. It's almost like it's straining to keep my voice at this low, low, relaxing level. But I figured if I did it more, then maybe I would um, be able to not really flex those vocal cords or like train those vocal cords. I feel like that's not really a good uh, way to put it, but I could um, get used to it. And the reason for this brings me to the kind of the meat and potatoes of this video. I don't know what to do anymore when it comes to outside noise. Um, you guys know I've been in this apartment for almost a year now, and I've done the best that I can to mitigate outside noises. However, uh, this place is significantly louder than my old townhouse, townhouse, townhome. And with that comes a multitude of problems um, for me. Now, um, problem number one uh, with the old schedule, regardless of noise during the day, throughout the day, I was, um, even back when I was in my townhouse, I was not being very healthy um, with my stream schedule. Um, streaming until 2 o'clock in the morning and um, sleeping in till about noon just to turn around and not do it the next day. Um, my sleep schedule was like this. And it was very, 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 very unhealthy. Um, I wasn't eating right. I was... Um, not going to the gym, which I'm still not going to the gym, but, um, I feel like I have more energy, um, throughout the day now that I've stopped doing that. Um, it's been a while since we've had a night stream. Um, it's been honestly, I think like, I think we've had like one night stream in the last month or two. Um, and while I do miss it a ton, it's simply um, more beneficial for me um, personally, not professionally, but personally. And somewhere along the way, I stopped um, taking care of myself. And uh, that is kind of, that's a big no-no. Um, for those of you that might be watching this and might be obsessed about work or obsessed about school or obsessed about your success, do not, I repeat, do not let it come at the cost of your personal well-being, your physical health, your mental health. 
those things are the most important things in your life. Um, if you are the most successful person in the world, millions of dollars, or you are the smartest person in the world, straight A's, 4.0 GPA, and you're not physically healthy and mentally healthy, you are not, you're not successful. Success, it took me a long time to understand this. Success is not about how much money you have. It's not about, um, you know, the things you have in life. It's about your own personal happiness, your own personal well-being. Um, and it's never been more clear to me than it is right now. Um, you know, doing what I've done over the last month, I feel so much better, um, but unfortunately with that, I've tried to, you know, keep up the content that you guys love so very much, um, you guys have supported me, um, uh, for the last three years now we've been full-time on content, I don't even know how long it's been at this point, but you guys have been so supportive. And a big part of that has been the live streams. And while I wasn't able to do them at night anymore, or while I haven't been doing them at night anymore, I've been trying to do them during the day. And unfortunately, with how much noise there is here, it's been very, very, very frustrating. Um, yesterday I thought I was going to have some time to do a live stream, and I tried to do a live stream, and of course like 45, 30 minutes in, there's um, people trimming the bushes right outside of my apartment, which I have absolutely no control over. It's literally a chainsaw, the most relaxing chainsaw sounds in the world, I'm sure. Um, but, uh, as, as relaxing as chainsaw sounds can get, but I have no control over that. And so, um, that led me to start thinking of alternatives. And, um, I feel like now is a good time to probably plug the fact that I do have a second YouTube channel, a non-ASMR YouTube channel at Collect and Play, um, if you go to youtube.com slash at collect and play, for those of you that don't know, uh, they do, I, you can do um, channel specific links like that now on YouTube, kind of similar to Twitch, how you can do twitch.tv slash collect and play or slash, um, you know, a whatever channel you're looking for, see? In this soft-spoken voice, um, you guys probably just heard the uh, car start outside. You can kind of hear it in the background. But because of the mic settings, um, I'm not as distracted. It's not as distracting. It's not as overbearing as um, if I had the gain turned up. And so that's a perfect segue into my next... Um, kind of my idea and the reason why I'm doing this and going on this rant um, I kind of want to try and do these soft spoken streams during the day and uh, you know could put a little bit of maybe some lo-fi music or some meditation music in the background playing some Minecraft, which is already a very relaxing game, and maybe um, that is how we find our success on the live stream front. Um, so it's a little bit of a mix of ASMR and just chill vibes. Um, I think we could do that. I don't know. Um, this is kind of me testing the waters with you guys. I want to hear comments from you guys. 
I love hearing from you guys all the time, no matter what it is. I got a lot of uh, feedback on my last video, uh, or when I adjusted my microphone. You guys were giving me comments and stuff, and uh, I really appreciate that. But the whole point of this video was to kind of just test the waters with soft spoken with this new microphone or this new microphone setting um, that I have currently. Same microphone, the Rode NT1A, but um, the alternative would be, uh, you know, we could do the day streams here on this channel with the soft spoken, or if that doesn't work out, we stream on the second channel, or we stream on Kick. Um, I've been kind of testing the waters with Kick as well. Uh, Kick is doubted by a lot of people, but I think if you dig deeper than the surface value, a lot of people are completely ignorant to the fact that Twitch is a terrible platform to stream on. Um, they are just watching from, you know, a viewer perspective, they, they've they been used to watching people on Twitch for 10 plus years, and therefore there's a bit of loyalty there from a viewer perspective, um, but understand that Twitch is going very downhill very fast, and so if you see your favorite creator, and I'm not referring to me, I'm just talking about creators in general. If you see your favorite creator or one of your favorite creators shift from one platform to another, please, please give that platform a try because there is a nine times out of ten, there is a good reason they are making that shift. Uh, there's been rumors circulating that kick on top of its subscription service uh, which is a 95-5 split, they're going to be paying content creators to stream all the way up to $16 an hour based on their concurrent viewership. Meaning, I don't know what level of viewership it would require to get to that $16 an hour, but we've had times on this channel where we've had 100 plus viewers, 200 plus viewers, 300 plus viewers while playing Warzone, Apex, 2K, whatever it is. I'm almost positive that if I had that level of viewership over on Kick and they were paying per hour, I'm almost positive that I would at least get, I don't know, $5 an hour? three dollars an hour um of guaranteed money just from you guys watching um and that's kind of similar to how youtube works with the ad revenue i'm kind of going off the tan off on a tangent here but well i just wanted to i feel like i feel like i've plugged my kick you know i've plugged my other socials but have never really given reason um to why you know there's a lot of thought, there's a lot of analytics that go behind, you know, reasons why I do what I do. I'm always making calculated decisions on what I stream, where I stream, how long I stream, whatever it might be. I'm always making calculated decisions, and I don't know that everybody understands that. And that's okay. That's, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not mad at anybody. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of an insight inside of where my mindset is. And, um, like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't really know where to go from here. Um, I don't know what to do. I do know that the videos have been insane support. I do know that um, 
the ad revenue from the views that I receive on this channel is nearing all time highs. Um, actually it is at all time highs. Um, but unfortunately, since I haven't been streaming, there's been no crowdfunding, which is, you know, super chats, memberships from you guys, new memberships from you guys. I know there's a lot of you that are still rocking your memberships and I really appreciate that. I would not be able to do this if it wasn't for you guys, but I, I probably need to wrap this video up soon because uh, per an email sent out by our apartment complex, they're going to be repainting the parking lot today and they're doing the, the parking lot outside of my window here. You can see it right there, right there. There's the parking lot. So, um, I probably need to wrap this up soon. I've always said that I've wanted to make a living off of ad revenue and, um, simply just be able to pay my bills and pay um, for my lifestyle and, and the things that I want solely off of views on this channel and ad revenue, uh, which generate ad revenue, which is why I stopped streaming on Kick. Um, if they do decide to implement that pay the streamer by the hour based on viewership, system, then that is another story, um, but that it seems like a pipe dream right now. Um, it's, it's very, uh, unrealistic to think that they could sustain such a program, but I don't know the insides of the company. I don't know how it works. I don't know how they make their money. They could be making money hand over fist. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is it's an option. And I can only inform you guys of, you know, the decisions that I make. I can only do so much. I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of insight, um, which was kind of the point of this rant. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if I did a good job with at least the audio levels, um, the, the tones. Can I maybe bump the microphone up a little bit more? You guys will have to let me know in the comments. Um, another issue is I've bumped up the gain post-production, which means I would have to bump up the gain if I was to stream, I just realized this live on camera, if I was to stream, I would have to bump the microphone settings up, although I could do it in OBS. See, this is all the things that I have to think about on a daily basis before doing what I do. And um, I, I, I was kind of um, ignorant to that fact uh, long ago, but now it's, there's a lot, there's a lot that goes into the decisions that I make, and, um, truthfully, I'm at a, I'm at a standstill as far as what I should do moving forward, but one thing you guys can't expect, no matter what, is an ASMR video on this channel every single night, just because I start doing something else does not mean that the train stops here. Um, I am still going to be doing nightly ASMR videos on this channel, no matter if we're streaming, if we're not streaming, if we're doing stuff on my non-ASMR channel, if we're doing stuff on Kick, does not matter. There will be a video every single night here on this channel. And I need to try and do a better job of converting all the people over on TikTok here as well, um, because that would be life-changing. That would truly be life-changing, but that's going to do it for this video. <sighs> for those of you that really care about my content, you will have probably enjoyed this video a lot. For those of you that maybe just watch for the gameplay, and maybe just watch for the sounds, don't really care about, you know, the behind-the-scenes, 
Chances are you probably clicked off of this video long ago, and that's okay, that's okay. But for those of you that did stick around to the very end, just know that I appreciate you very, very much, and um, your support does not go unnoticed. So, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Peace, peace, peace.